Hey there, hi there, ho there, it's Jeff Kind of Diamond welcoming you to the finals of the 2006 World Cup Knockout Tourney. First of all, let's look at the goal scores. Sisu, Steven Gerrard, Ronaldo, and Park Ji Sun have scored six goals each. Most goals scored, England has put 18 on the board in their eight games of qualification and all that. You know, from round 32, sweet 16 quarters and semis. Brazil has 14 goals for. England and Brazil are in the finals. You see there, the final. Brazil, in the first round, took down Croatia 7-2 on aggregate. England took down the Czechs 6-0 on aggregate. Second round, Brazil had to win. Brazil lost one nothing in Ghana. But because they won one nothing on home turf, they went to extra time and Fred put up a pair of goals to score after extra time. England crushed Ivory Coast 6-1 on aggregate. England beat Switzerland on aggregate in the quarterfinals 2-1, while Brazil narrowly took down Germany. And in the semifinals, Brazil needed one goal by Ronaldo to beat Portugal, while England had a tough time with South Korea, but they still won. So now we are in the final. Analysis, sorry. When leading by one goal, you could lose four times. Halftime, you're 32-2-17. Full-time scores, a lot of them were not, won nothing. One, only one game had six goals in them. A lot of them have had one, two, one, three, or four. Highlights, Park Ji Sung had a hat-trick against for Korea versus Paraguay and Ronaldo, hat-trick to Croatia. But the, but the Brits have won 5 0 one game against the Czechs and 5-1 against Ivory Coast. So we'll see what happens. Brazil are the home team. Coloration clash, some great substitutes. Here we go. Brazil in yellow, England in white. Both 4 4 2, so four in the back, four in the middle, two strikers. Our goal scores are well. Roberto Carlos leads off. Beckham slides into him. Dina and Paul Robinson are your bullies. Emerson will kick. Injured for kick. And it will go to the Roberto. See the Roberto. See Roberto is already doing his job. It's like, why not take a shot? See Roberto to the right side. Go! Shocker. Well, there's a golden tournament in the final, so we're going to advance five minutes. And it's still 1 nothing. England, Real Ferdinand does the shot. England's committed two fouls. First, I know, and then the third, I know, card. Kafu steals the ball. Legally. To Ronaldo. Ronaldo trying to pass, but John Terry says, Give me that ball. And he did. Juan will slide right into him. Foul on the Brit. Brazilians. England will take the free kick. Back on to Rio. Rio Ferdinand is trying to do something here. By the way, unofficially. Unofficially. Well, there's a few things about it. Brazil has two teams in the final, 74 and 94, that won two titles. England's won with 82 and 70, so this will be three. When it gets three, real to Rooney. Challenge denied, Rooney. Rooney to the center. Rooney will kick it up to Beckham. Rooney will try something. Beckham to the left side. Brazil will kick down. Real steals the ball 12 minutes into this match. One game, winner take all. Unlike the other tournament games that are two legs, this is only one. So, there's more urgency. John Terry takes the ball. And it will jump up to Gary Neville. Neville down to Rio. We will dump it to Ashley Cole. We will boot up to Beckham. Trying to probably fool the Brit, the Brazilians. Beckham. Beckham trying to do something. We'll take a shot. Takes a shot.
Rio gets them all. And we go down to the middle, but Lucio says, I'm not letting that get away from my fingers. Kafu to Ronaldinho. Passes to Adriano. Who looks around. Marshall Cole says, enough is enough. Let's kick it out. Ronaldinho at the corner. Hooks it to Kafu. Kafu takes a shot. Oh, a Offside as it is. So that would have not mattered anyhow because that was offside. No shot. Baco to Nevo. To Baco. Ronaldinho foul. But no card, thank goodness. Gerard down to Rio. Rio up with it. Lucille says, that's my ball. Down to Kafu, 20 minutes gone. Kafu to Kaka. Ashley Cole steals the ball. Up to Lauren.
associated with a foul. Another foul group sound that is their seventh. No cards though.
Parker went after the ball, but a foul on that, so that's a 16 foul without a yellow card. Playing the fight, Gerard, that's a foul. 57 minutes have gone by, 90 minutes is the standard in soccer. We will move on to be the 06 knockout champion. Emerson went after the ball, but got the man instead. So that's a foul. And England's got the ball. It's Lane Park. Lane Park. Juan scores. Cafu. Cafu. Gerard steals the ball. Roberto goes after him. Patrick 
forget my wheel. See where birds are with a fall? Lots of fouls, but no cards. Emerson out for Jermaine Hull. So, Brazil's made their second substitution. We're only at three. Steven Gerrard. To Rudy. Juan steals the ball. One, final ten minutes. You can bet that Brazil will try to kill the clock. Knowing what's at stake. They're up one nothing on a goal by Silva and Alberto in the first few minutes of play. Brazil has been chasing ever since. Hardgraves and 
Fred. Well, Fred was kind of a Fred was kind of a hero against Ghana, and Hargraves is pretty much known. So we are going to go to we're gonna what's the clock say? Twenty six. So five minutes from extra time. And Brazil's got it three to one. So Fernandez picked up a yellow card. Tunisia's picked up a yellow card. But Brazil is just gonna kill time. England's like, how did we fuck this up? So Brazil with a 3-1 lead, there is no way that Brazil's going to pick this up. So they are the 06 champions. The 06 team will get to that tournament. England will probably need a miracle for the 06 team to get in. But the tiebreak is basically the countries that don't that got to a final but don't have a team in it. So like Portugal or Yugoslavia will I think have one finalist team in. But those guys will get top priority. Second tie break is World Cup winners. If you're a World Cup winner, I say the next semi Brazilian squad, and they you lose in the final, you have a chance to qualify for that because you won the tournament. Lampard. We'll take a shot denied right now. does his job and kills England off. Ronaldinho's got the ball. There's still time. Ronaldinho's like, oh yeah, I guess we should kill the clock. Gives it to Kaka. He gives it to Schoberto. Hargrave steals the ball. 2-0 to eight. And Brazil wins 3-1. to one. Did Fred get the winning goal? Are you serious? The nerve of this guy the nerve of this guy, they put Fred on for Adriano and he puts up both goals. Ronaldo doesn't score, it's Fred who's the hero for Brazil. The youngster, the 20 year old. He scored twice in extra time against Ghana in the second round. He scored second, two goals in extra time against England. So they needed Fred. They were like, we need Fred because Fred was the hero against Ghana. And yeah, Fred does it again. This guy's unreal. He should be in the starting lineup. But maybe they don't want him in the starting lineup. So Brazil wins 3-1. Fred, how many goals did he score? Five goals. Fred has five goals, and he only played in four games. So he technically tied for fifth with Joe Cole, despite the fact he only played four games. And Brazil played nine of them. So Fred didn't even play 50% of Brazil's games, and yet he scored five goals and was one back of Ronaldo. That is unfreaking believable I wonder what game Fred played for Brazil and he scored. Yeah, he did that against Ghana. Oh, he scored in the 69th minute at home against Germany in the quarterfinal, but then two goals in the final. They wanted him to play for Adriano. And it worked. England's like, what the heck is this Fred guy smoking? Turkeys, that's what he's smoking. Anyway, Brazil are your champions. And I'm Jeff Diamond, I do.